signals are known as semaphores. In this job, you'll be taught what a semaphore is, how it works, and how to place your own signals. Watch the steam locomotive. A collision with a passenger train was averted using a semaphore. The flashing red lights mean that a train will stop when it comes near this signal. Now click on the semaphore. The lights will change to blue. When a train approaches a blue signal, it will reverse directions. Click again on the semaphore. The lights will change to green. Green indicates the train can pass by the signal uninterrupted. When the train hits this blue semaphore, it will automatically reverse directions. As the train reverses direction, you'll be able to click on the switch and redirect the train down the new rail line. I will control the train. When the train approaches the blue semaphore, switch the track. Excellent, and the red semaphore stops the locomotive. You may also place your own signals. Use the right mouse button to drop a signal near the bumper. These signals work just like semaphores, except they're one-shot flags. Once a train uses them, they disappear. Set this signal to blue by clicking on it. Good, it's set exactly the same as permanent semaphores. Place a red signal here. As the train approaches the blue signal, switch the track to conduct the train to the depot. And that's it. Semaphores are used in a variety of situations, from railroad crossings that keep automobiles and pedestrians safe, to sophisticated loading processes in real-world freight yards. Railroads have several special tracks. In this job, you'll learn how to use the turntable, bascule bridge, and rotary dumper to pick up and deliver a load of iron ore. Iron ore is necessary for many types of manufacturing. To pick up a load of iron ore, you'll need to fill a special railroad car called a hopper. The hopper cannot be loaded. You'll need to back the hopper into the loading zone. To do this, stop the train when both the locomotive and the hopper are on the turntable. Now, click on the turntable. Two small markers appear. Click on the red marker. The green marker will turn toward the red marker. The turntable will stop when the two markers line up. Now, back the hopper down onto the loading zone and pick up the load of iron ore. Okay, to deliver the load, you'll need to drive the train over the bascule bridge. Stop the train to the left of the bridge. The signal will flash either green, indicating the bridge is clear, yellow, the bridge will rise soon, or red, the bridge is rising. Wait till the signal is green and drive the train over the river. Great. Now, to deliver the iron ore, stop the hopper in the rotary dumper. When the signal flashes yellow, the hopper is correctly positioned. Uncouple the locomotive and drive it safely away from the dumper. The dumper will automatically empty the iron ore. Congratulations, you're getting to be a real engineer. You've mastered how to use a turntable, bascule bridge, and rotary dumper to deliver some iron ore. Eventually, every engineer has to deal with natural disasters, like when an avalanche blocks a track. The trick is figuring out how to quickly repair the damage and keep the trains running on schedule. There's been an avalanche, and the passenger train can't get through. You're going to have to clear the track. 
and you don't have much time. These passengers are on a tight schedule and you've only got five minutes to clear the slide. Use the snow plow to move the slide. Back the passenger train down the track to give room for the plow. Drive the plow forward into the avalanche. The snow plow will automatically clear the slide. Well, this is just great. The switch broke when the plow passed over it. Drive the hand car down to the broken switch. Stop it when it reaches the broken switch. The mechanics will fix the track automatically. Now, drive the hand car back to the depot. Clear the plow by backing it up to the second line. Our passengers are getting bored. Drive the passenger train down the first rail line. What a day. Now there are reindeer blocking our way. Blow the locomotive's whistle to scare the deer off the track. With a little luck, we can finish this job. Drive the passenger train off the right side of the screen. What a job, but you did it. You managed to fix all the problems with the track and keep your passengers on schedule. The Cactus Valley Train Park wanders around stockyards for a good long piece. Scout around wherever you want and try to stay in the saddle. When you're through, just click exit. Caboose washer jobs are very simple. Hands up, all along the track. The workers at the furniture plant are hungry. Better pick up a load of hamburgers from the stockyard and deliver them to the workers pronto. job. Everyone's got a full tummy and it's back to making the most beautiful furniture in the valley. Thanks for your help. Santa needs your help. Load his sleigh onto the flat car and the reindeer into the stock car and hustle them over to Santa's workshop. You're a little tall for an elf, but I like the way you got that job done. <laughs>